Yeah, um, since we didn't have preseason last year, um, I think the girls were really excited to be back on campus and be able to just strictly focus on soccer only without having the academic load. Um, and we've got a lot of underclassmen that have never gone through a preseason. So um, I think they're all just excited to be together and, and work hard and, and get prepared. Uh, we're all really excited to be here. I mean, it's been a great summer to go home, but um, we're excited to be back and get ready for the season. Yeah, it's really good to be back, obviously. It's nice to be back all the way in America, let alone being here, but it's been really fun. We're on day two, but everybody's getting to know each other really well, and it's been a really good start, so it's just exciting, I think, for everybody. We definitely have a lot of underclassmen. Um, we're at, we added 10 freshmen, um, so we have um, a, a slightly small group of, of upperclassmen um, but that, that are extremely talented, have played big minutes for us, so we're definitely going to lean on that leadership from them um, to lead and, and guide the, the talented young group of girls we have. Um, but yeah, I think the balance between the, those upperclassmen that have helped us tremendously in the past few seasons and then the, the influx of, of young talent is going to be a cool balance for us to, to navigate through. Um, we also have uh, two new staff members um, that are excited and ready to get in and grind. So um, really exciting time for sure. Coming out of a spring season is obviously different with COVID um, and having a quick turnaround over the summer. I think it was great though that we got a chance to go home, recover, still work at home. And now that we're back, we're all back, we're fit, we're ready to go. It feels like a very quick turnaround. Um, it's a little bit crazy because I feel like we only just played in the Southern Conference and we're doing it again, but it's also exciting because we get an opportunity to have a real preseason before this season. So I think everybody's excited to get back to normal and play the SOCON with a really good build up of a preseason and friendlies. So it's a quick turnaround, but I think it's something that's going to work really well for us. Definitely a quick turnaround for sure. Um, so we definitely asked the girls to take some time off over the summer um, to, to avoid some burnout stuff. Um, but I feel like we've, we've done well to navigate that and, and try to uh, periodize it enough where they're not um, super fatigued. Um, and that's definitely on the coaching staff to, to balance. But I think the girls are, they had some time away and now, now they're, they're ready to get back after it and, and build on what we did last year. Um, you know, finishing sixth was was OK, but, um, you know, building and hopefully finishing in the top three or four in the conference is, is probably the goal this year. We have a lot of returners and we have a lot of new freshmen, a lot of new faces. Um, it's only our second day out here, so we're all kind of still getting familiar with each other, but we're really excited to get started. And so far, it's a great group. You know, I would love uh, just to keep improving, you know, the team get more wins, more goals. Personally, in midfield, obviously, many assists as possible, things like that. But I just want us as a team to show what we're made of because we're really improving and I think it's time for us to prove that on the field.